Basic control settings. This is the first thing you have to take care of in EVO 2024. Either you are just downloading the game, you are a beginner, or you have been using the game before, you have to take care of your basic control settings. So to do this, you have to let's go to the extra in game settings. In the game settings, you have to go to play settings. Then this is where we have the basic control settings. So we have control type. We have two control types: the classic touch and flick. Classic is for normal button controlling, and touch and flick is the act of using your screen as the controlling to control the ball so the most used control type is the classic the touch and flick is for advanced control so i recommend using classic but if you know how to use touch and flick you can here go with that so for the directional stick i use stick i use fixed you can use move or put it off so put it enough make it make you to control your players whenever you put your hand in the left side of your phone so you can just put it off or set it to move for the cursor chain, you can select assisted, semi-auto, or manual. This is your own recommendation. You have to do it based on how you want to be playing the game. So I recommend I use assisted. You can use semi-auto or use manual. Manual is going to let you select which player to attack or which player to defend. So that is for the manual. For the input range, I use medium. For the, I recommend using medium or narrow or maybe wide. If you use any of these, then you are good to go. Defending control. Defending control. We have two type of defending control type. So we have standard and the prayer type. The standard type has two defending button: the match up and prayer and dash. The match up, prayer and dash. That is for the two defending. The match up enable to block some passes. But you have to once you put your your hand on the match up, you have to make your player to move to the direction of the, your opponent to intercept or block the pass. So for the prayer and dash. You just have to put your hand on your player and that and your player will make the attack and your player will go for your opponent to make the attack that is for the standard type let's check the button let's check out the button this is how the button is going to look like when you are attacking with ball you have true pass the shoot button the dash button and the pass so that is for attacking when you are defending in prayer type in standard type you have match up dash and prayer switch and tackle so let's check for the prayer style Let's change the prayer style. As you can see, when we are attacking, we have the same button of standard in prayer style. So let's go to the defend, defending. We have just prayer, dash, tackle, and switch. You have only one button to defend. This is going. If you walk, if you hold your hand on the dash button on the on your prayer button, then you your player will automatically mark your opponent player. But I recommend using the standard type that has two controls. So you have to just master the use of the prayer and dash button and the matchup. So. For the button configuration you can just configure and the button opacity set it to a percentage that will make you see all your full screen so you won't be making a wrong passes in infobot 2024 this enable you to make some basic settings like cursor type maybe you want your play the, the player name to be showing on your on your cursor maybe the cursor type should be a player name maybe when you change the cursor it should change to the player name the next player indicator if you put this on attack defense level this should be on display radar you have to turn this on for the radar you have to select you can make this more advanced by selecting color to display home and away players on your radar so you will know that when you are home you will have it you will be having a yellow on your radar so you will be able to make a smooth and accurate long passes with this so for the display Display player name for the opponent, you can put it on or you put it off so you know the player you are trying to map. Graphic settings. This is one of the most settings you have to take care of to enable effective and enhance e football gameplay. So, to do this, you have to go to this game settings, then you select graphics. I will recommend using so we have type of graphics we have high, we have standard, low, and lowest prioritized playability. This lower playability is for users with 500 megabyte or less ram on their phone so for the low we i recommend using with one gig of or two gig ram of phone for the standard four gig or upward and for the high is for eight gig and upward so that is for the graphics for the frame rate you have to know your frame per second rate of your phone so you can select the right frame rate so you won't choose the wrong frame rate for your gameplay Let's talk about 
in match row. This enables you to select the team captain, the penalty taker, the free kick taker, corner kick taker, and the players to join attack. To do this, you have to go to your game plan, tap on your team logo, then select in match mode. This is where you select. Let me give you a simple trick on how to score easy corner, maybe 90% of your corner. So let's take a look at the left corner taker and right corner taker. The left corner taker must you must choke a right footed player to, to play a left corner taker. The right footed player to take a left corner. So Bruno Fernandez is a right corner taker. Left corner taker. Left corner taker as Bruno Fernandez. For the right corner taker, you select the left footed player, which is Messi. Then for your players to join attack, you have to select one on of one of your defenders that has good heading. We have Ruben Dias that has 98% of heading. So for the second players to join attack, don't select all your center backs because of your opponent quick counter. So select maybe defensive midfielder with good heading. We have Casemiro 94. Then the third player should be a center forward or attacking midfielder. So we have Le Alan. So you could easily score corners with this trick. The automatic match support. Automatic match support. You click on your team logo, then select automatic match support. To do this, you can select automatic substitution on your eFootball. If you don't want to be making substitution, if you are someone like me that don't usually make sub, I always forgot to make sub sometimes. So I choose automatic substitution. And I select flexible. This is gonna make a sub in like 75 or 65 or 70 minutes when the ball goes out of play. So this is flexible. If you want it to very early, 50, 45 minutes, select very early. So I prefer using flexible, or I put it off, or you use very late. If you are playing a quick counter, I recommend not to use this offside trap because this is gonna make your up, uh, your defense line fall easily. So for the attack defense level, you can put it on or off, but this enable you to put your attack on or off when your opponent is putting it on or off if, you are, if your opponent is going for ultra attack then it will automatically activate ultra attack for you so i would prefer to choose the, the attack levels myself so i put this off so choosing a good camera angle is one of the things that make you play effective and smooth gameplay so let's go to the camera if you are you you you, will, you won't be able to do this until you are on live matches or maybe you are playing matches so let's go to the camera and this we have a type of camera angles right there we have mid range we have long we have wide we have dynamic wide live broadcast stadium duel and that so the most used is dynamic wide so i'm gonna go with stadium or dwell i love playing with dwell so let's see how this camera angle works on live matches so off we go then this is deception his positioning was spot on well xabi alonso is the standout he'll be looking to set the tempo and dictate the play here peter he is so integral to this team isn't he can you see that is the effective of the camera angle if i change this camera angle i may not be playing as smooth as this this is one of the pro ways to play better in if go 2024 better camera angle equals to better gameplay because the movement of the players depends on the camera angle that is that about the pro settings for smooth and effective gameplay in eFootball 2024. If you like, I hope you like this video. Kindly like this video, share, and subscribe to this channel. I'm gonna see you on the next video. Peace out.